Devin Dubnik. Skinner walks in. Shut down. Hawkins center for Taves. Quick shot to save and a beautiful toe save made by Dubnik on the rebound against Victor Stolberg. Here's Daniel Sedin to the net. Stop. Rebound. Salo. Stopped as well. Daniel can't jam it home. Hendrick shoots. Stopped by Dubnik who's got the puck. What a sequence. Whitney down low. Bermuda. Doan. What a save by Devin Dubnik as he comes across and robs the captain of the Phoenix Coyotes. Welcome to another edition of Ask an Oiler presented by Ford. Today's guest is Devin Dubnik. Devin, how are you doing? Good, good. Good. I guess good to talk. There you go. Yeah, mic up to the mouth. Uh, Devin, this is, uh, I'm sure you're aware of it, fan questions that we're going to do rapid fire. Uh, let's get started. You ready? Yep. Here we go. First question is a two-parter. Marcus from Woodbridge and Emily from Sherwood Park asked these questions. Who was your favorite hockey team growing up as a child, and who was your favorite goalie while you were a youngster? Uh, I actually didn't have a favorite hockey team. I, uh, I moved around a lot when I was a kid. Um, lived in uh, Toronto, Winnipeg, Vancouver, and Calgary. And I was born in place. Regina, so um, I kind of just cheered for the team uh, that I was living at at the time. Um, and I also got bullied into cheering for the Toronto Maple Leafs. My brother's big, big Maple Leafs fan too, because he was he was born in uh, in Toronto area. So. Got bullied into that a little bit, but was never never a true Leafs fan at heart. Um, and uh, when it comes to players, I was my favorite my favorite goalie growing up was Freddie Brathwaite. It was when I uh, became a goalie in Calgary. He was uh, he was the Flames goalie, um, and I got a I got a chance to meet him a couple times, and uh, that was pretty uh, memorable for me. I got a couple signed sticks of his still in uh, jersey and whatnot. And other than that, I was uh, I was also a really big fan of uh, Curtis Joseph. Okay, uh, and now Freddie Brathwaite, you have a mask that you haven't worn much at all this season, but you said it was kind of derived from Freddie Brathwaite's old mask as an Oiler. Yeah, it uh, unfortunately it doesn't fit very well. <laughs> I don't know if my head's got big over this year or something, but <laughs> um, no, it's uh, yeah. I tried I tried to kind of base it off of uh, his mask when he was in Calgary, and it actually turned out really well. It's too bad uh, I got to cut some of the foam out of it or something, but um, it's uh, I don't know if we'll see that one. You said there's still hope for it, maybe. May maybe we'll maybe. see. I don't know if we get if we get around to fixing it, but uh, might be a. Might be one for the mantle. <laughs> All right, next question comes from Patricia. Here in Edmonton, she asks, Devin, what has been your favorite moment this season so far? Oh, that's tough to say. I think I'd have to go with uh, just getting the chance to, to play in the home opener and then winning it. That was my first, uh, my first home opener, first season opener, and uh, a lot of nerves there. I was pretty excited to, to, to get a chance to do it. And obviously Pittsburgh. Uh, against Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah and obviously, uh, you know, with the, the way the game turned out to, to finish in the shootout was pretty exciting for me. Okay, we're going to follow that one up with Karen from Vancouver who asks, uh, Devin, what's your favorite memory to happen on the road with the team? Uh, that's tough. It's uh, hockey-wise, I think, again, um, I'd probably have to go with my first road win, uh, which was a couple years ago uh, in, in L.A. It was, uh, it was my last game of the season. Right. And I managed to get it in there. Um, I got 55 shots, I think, and, and uh, we ended up winning a shootout. And, um, you know, rookie parties are always a good time on the road. Right. Uh, it's a good chance to, you know, to, to mix with the guys. And, and um, you know, my first rookie party was, uh, was a lot of fun. The guys treated me really well, and uh, I, I had a blast. I think when you won that game, uh, you kind of just looked up to the heavens, if I remember correctly. That was Detroit. That was Detroit. Yeah, that was my first win that took 11 tries to get to. Now you have a few more. <laughs> now you have a few more. All right. Uh, Jennifer from Fort McMurray asks, what is your favorite and least favorite team to play against? Well, my least favorite is St. Louis by far and beyond. I just added the from another beauty the to day. the archives in that saga <laughs> last night. Uh, I don't really have a favorite team to play against. I think okay. uh, it's always exciting when you get a chance to play against uh, Detroit uh, or Vancouver. Um, you know, I always love playing uh, in Calgary, right? Just being from there, and and obviously with the rivalry. So um, there's there's you a lot of teams. There. Yeah, that was nice yeah, this year. There's there's a lot of teams. Uh, those those kind of rivalries or or you know the big the, the powerhouse teams that are exciting to to get up and play. Which for. you guys have beaten a few times this year. Yeah, we'll, we'll add that in there. Uh, okay, Cody from Edmonton asks if you could be any other Oiler for a day, who would you be and why? Oh, we got so many superstars on our team. Uh, I don't know when I when you get to be my age at 25, you, you start to feel old. So right. Um, yeah. 
you know, I, I, I'd always like to go back and be 12 again. So I think I'd be nude for a day. He's 12, isn't he? 12, I think 13, so. Yeah. A little, yeah, little so somewhere around there. I'd like to go back to my teenage years and I'll pick Nuge. Excellent. Excellent answer. Um, okay, Lindsay from Provost asks, what's your favorite part about playing in Edmonton? Um, just just being in the Canadian city uh, and, and, you know, playing in front of uh, the fans every night. Everybody cares so much. Um, you know, it's a great environment. It's... Uh, we're, we're building, obviously, and everybody's so uh, so positive and, and uh, excited about the build. Um, you know, it's just a, every every time you get a chance to play out in front of the home crowd, is, it's it's exciting. It's an experience, and uh, you know, you always feel good about it after. Okay, last question, Devin. Here we go. Uh, Kelly from Victoria wants to know: As a goalie, do you have a different way of getting in shape in the summer than players do, and do you work any harder or any less? Uh, not any harder, any less. It's a, it's definitely a different kind of shape. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you watch how a game goes, uh, you know, players are, are flying up and down the ice, and then they go sit, and then they get back on, they fly up and down the ice. Mm -hmm. And you know, for goalies, it's more uh, you know we're, we we got to be able to hold our uh, hold our squat for a while and, and kind of be powerful. Uh, you know, at one time rather than than up and down the like ice. Like short so, little bursts, yeah. Kind of thing. So it's just uh, you know you still train, you, you still do weights and. And uh, a lot of the stuff is similar, but um, you know there, there's certainly some different stuff that you do. Whether it's uh, a little bit more uh, core and legs rather than uh, concentrating on, on the upper body. How about flexibility? How much of that yeah, is a key? Yeah, you know what, I'm not a real flexible guy. I'm pretty. F I, I guess I'm flexible for being six foot five, right. but uh, you know I think when it comes to goalies, I'm not overly flexible. Um, so that's not really part of my game. But at the same time, I think it's it's something that I always try to work on. I've been doing Pilates for for seven years now and, and uh, you know it's just more maintenance wise uh, mm -hmm. especially as you get older um, you know it's important to, to, to maintain flexibility so that you don't hurt yourself. Devin thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you fans for all of your questions and thank you for joining us for another edition of Ask an Oiler presented by Ford.